Hello and welcome back to Tabby Sims. I'm Tabby if you do not know and this is our rags to riches slash all lots traits challenge but the lots traits challenge part is pretty much finished. I think we can get rid of the last lot trait this episode and I guess when we do that I'll just drop the all lots trait challenge part off the title of this. We will still have our rags to riches to complete and I have said that that will be when we have 400,000 simoleons. We've got about 70,000 simoleons at the minute. We're not doing bad but I feel like some of the gardening that is what would make us rich has kind of gone against us. Dragon fruits are just not flourishing on our land and the romance festival was bugged twice so I had to then splice things to get orchids and lilies and the really expensive garden items but we should be on our way now. I think we've got about four or five orchids it's four or five lilies and I bought a dragon fruit plant to plant instead of doing all the splicing because the splicing wasn't working for me. Anywho, please subscribe if you haven't already and let's just dive into some gameplay. It is a lovely sunny day where I am. I actually go on holiday for three days tomorrow. I'm going to Berlin. So I want to film this, edit it and have it ready to go so I can post a video whilst I'm away. I missed um, two videos last week. It feels very natural to be sitting playing The Sims on a Sunday afternoon. It's my favourite thing to do. So a few things I want to check. How old is Bella Belladonna? When will Belladonna age up? Oh, I can't check that. Never mind. <laughs> um, Kurt is going to age up in 11 days. He's older than Nori, isn't he? Yeah, Nori's still got 18 days. Arwen is six days away. Cool. Work starts for Nori in about one hour. What would you like to do? Work from home, as always. First things first, we're going to go get our logic skill up because we want one more promotion for Nori before she goes freelance. It's just a random rule I've decided for myself. Observe the sky. Oh, chuff, I missed. Kurt went to work. <laughs> oh, no. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he does have the golden tick, so he should get promoted today. I don't know if they can get promoted when they've not done all their tasks, but we'll see. Okay, it's just Nori and Belladonna today. Oh, and Nori's sad because of Tina Tinker, because she witnessed the death of her friend. That was a lot. I didn't expect that. Black Rooster is thinking of leaving due to inadequate care. Oh, well, maybe Nori, stop doing that, and you go do some animal care, because Kurt went to work, and... Oh, whoa! Look how dirty those chickens are! Okay, so scatter feed, collect the eggs, and clean the coop. Oh, Nori's ringing. A teacher caught Arwen looking at another student's test during class and sent her to the office. I'm sure it was a mistake or let her retake the test. Hmm, if my child was cheating, I would make her retake the test. I wouldn't like make excuses for her behavior. Uh, Nori Alloway has advised Arwen's school on how to deal with the situation. Her conflict resolution increases, but her manners decrease. Nori's so sad, but also clean this cow because the cow gets moody. Collected eight eggs from the chicken hatch, cool. Moo, Mrs. Cow. Yeah, I know. Oh, the cow's gone invisible. What? What on earth has happened here? Wow. This one chicken is still really dirty. Can we just clean this one chicken? <laughs> oh my. This is. What is happening? <laughs> The invisible cow kicked over the milk pail. Oh no. I think that means we didn't get any milk to be fair. What is happening on this day? What is happening? <laughs> what is? Oh, I can't. I can't with that. That is bonkers. Now Nori has to go do her logic skill because that's all Kurt's responsibility. Oh, the nanny's at the door. Well, we don't have time. We've got to get our logic skill up. How's Bella Donna? Like, she, oh, there, there we go. I was like, <laughs> she's been very quiet so far. Change dirty diaper, breastfeed, cuddle. She must be aging up soon. I feel like we've had her for a couple of days. Arwen is done with school for the week. She's doing well, but it wouldn't hurt to go the extra mile. Perhaps the weekend would be a good time to do so. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize it was Friday. It's Friday. Eh? And Saturday, Sunday, what? Okay, Arwen's got a lot of her. Woohoo, here comes a rooster! Welcoming Arwen from school! Hi, Mr. Rooster, tell Chicken about funny smells. Pet the black rooster? It's almost Bella Donna's birthday, there we go. Arwen wants to draw all five picture types on the activity table, we can do that. Before you go upstairs, why don't you clean up these breakfast plates? I can't remember if we got that scouting badge, so maybe I should go 
check our scouting badges actually can i collect any badges oh yes yeah, civic responsibility i think that's all the cleaning up so she's got that and then we'll view badge badge not badge <laughs> badge progress um, and see what else we need to do let's see arwen has been promoted to unicorn scout she's also received the following bonus a bronze scouting trophy okay so she's completed arts and crafts civic responsibility she hasn't done anything for give back to earn this badge donate items for charity from the mail box and computer or perform the friendly social to give gifts okay good deeds she's done two out of six you need to entertain a toddler make someone laugh take out the trash or help someone with their homework no keeping fit no outdoor adventure okay scholarly aptitude complete oh and then she's nearly got sociability to earn this badge perform friendly socials with another sim and then young scientist she hasn't got anything okay so we should do good deeds so we'll take out the trash sociability that'll be really easy and give back in this episode okay does Arwen have anything in her inventory to give away oh she's got quite a few things okay let's go here oh there donate gift to charity why don't you I mean there's a lot of trash in your inventory why don't you give away that buddy because we're not really bothered about that donate gift to charity one of your drawings that's kind um chompy the monster um waffle cone the talking llama toy and then one more and she'll have done it have i already given away the bubble bottle well we'll try and do that uh kurt brought home 504 simoleons because he lives an outdoorsy lifestyle he was bolstered in performance right well welcome home kurt but you've now got a lot of gardening and such to do what's this Oh, chicken. <laughs> I didn't know where that was for a second. Oh, and maybe you can plant an oversized crop because we haven't got anything on the go at the minute. Collect grub meal, collect cricket flower. What's Nori doing? I'm gonna guess that you do not have your logic skill, Nori. No, not yet. Come on, why don't you go shower and then do your logic skill. Just checked, we donated enough things so Arwen can get the give back badge. She's currently drawing an animal, then she's gonna draw a monster, then she needs to draw people, shapes and vehicles. Oh, I know you're sad Nori, but you're nearly there. Scatter more feed, collect eggs. Gosh, the chickens lay eggs often, don't they? Have a bubble bath, Kurt. Why not treat yourself? And he didn't get promoted, so it looks like you can't get promoted unless you've done your promotions tasks. Come on, Nori. Oh, Arwen reached creativity level nine. She can narrate a tale of dolls on a dollhouse. Nori's just a bit too sad to get this done, I think. I don't know if I talked about this in the last episode, but I don't understand why all our crops just disappeared like that like they're still alive and they're still sheltered it says that they're sheltered so they should stay they should have stayed grown basically and they've all just disappeared and i don't know why so i think we are losing out on money here because all this quill fruit would obviously be earning and it just isn't oh i think nori did it did you do it no yay level five logic you come get something to eat nori and then we'll do your work you want to install an energy efficient device does this fridge have that already oh i could do it for the tv but i just need to get some eco upgrade parts there's nothing new that we can fabricate is there no and i need to submit an eco innovation concept i think i already have one that i presented to tinker tina tina tinker oh baby's crying belladonna's crying sorry kurt you are on baby duty change diaper bottle feed cuddle. to be fair kurt really doesn't pull his weight with the babies does he i'm i'm a bit bad for just having nori do it all what's arwin doing going to bed are you arwin or do i want you to do this last drawing because you've still got a little bit of energy oh there's two last drawings for you to do do those and then you can go to sleep oh okay let's sell these lilies 216 sell the orchids 875 snapdragons 184 we need them in like bigger quantities oh the quill fruits are 2184 yeah but it's just not enough just not enough oh nori has reached fabrication level eight and can now craft the kids bed on the fabricator can't she already do that i'll go have a look in a sec breed a frog why not breed a frog 100 simoleons no 30 simoleons let's have a look at this then is there a kid's bed and then a single bed oh yeah they are different oh okay come fabricate a kid's bed then why not we'll have it in sage again so it can go in belladonna's bedroom and you need to upgrade this tv to an energy efficient device 
Then you can go to sleep. You will be shattered, but then you can go to sleep. Why is Arwen walking around? What's wrong with Arwen? Oh, react to first snow and then she's going to bed. Okay. Night on the town was awful. Night on the town was awful. I don't even think I realized that was happening. Sorry guys. Sorry team. Hey, why is there snow here? This is covered. Look, it's, oh, it's kind of covered. Not really. Do they count as sheltered plants? No, they don't, because this needs to go a little bit further over. There we go. Now they are sheltered. <laughs> Nori installed the energy efficient device. She's completed work. She can go to sleep at four in the morning. Arwen has entered the picky eater phase. Well, you'll eat what you're given, kiddo. Sort out her needs, go to the toilet, and then we'll age Belladonna up, I think. Woohoo, Belladonna aged up. Toddlers, days spent playing with toys, exploring the world and learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start building skill for the future. And we've just randomized her trait and she is silly, goofy and curious. These toddlers love to tell jokes and get playful. They earn imagination skill slightly faster. Cool. Oh, let's have a look at Belladonna. Oh, she has black hair. Dark eyes and like a darker skin tone. She is what I would imagine our child to look like. Let's jump into create a sim and give her a little makeover and style some outfits for her. Bella Donna Alloe. Yeah, so is it Kurt that has the really dark eyes? I'm sure we discovered this when we had Arwen. Yeah, so it's, she's got Kurt's eyes and then she's got Nori's black hair and a kind of darker skin tone between Nori and Kurt. Love you, Arwen, but where on earth did this come from? Oh, I really like the little bunches on toddlers. So I think we'll do that for Belladonna. I also think Belladonna is a dark haired girl's name. I don't know why, I've just got that in my head. Okay, all of Belladonna's outfits are kind of themed red to go with the bows in the bunches in her hair. So this is her everyday formal. She kind of looks like a Christmas candy cane. Although pajamas, I put this like minty green because that's the color of her bedroom. Um, party is this really fun red with the cat swimwear, hot weather and cold weather. I think it'll be cute when Belladonna and Arwen age up to see if they look similar and they just have different color in. Um, that's like me and my sister in real life. We have very similar faces, but she's blonde and blue eyed and I obviously have black hair and dark eyes. Okay, and we should probably flesh out Belladonna's bedroom now. So why don't you come here and play with dolls whilst we do that for you. BB dot move objects on. Let's put these curtains in here, but we'll do two up like that. Quite like the idea of pink, it's quite contrasting. We might change that. Oh, produce in the inventory. Okay, I'll sort this out in a sec. Here's the rug that Nori fabricated for Belladonna. They don't really fit in this bedroom. <laughs> that one's kind of peeking out as well, but oh, that's fine. Oh, she could have the sage floor light in here. I think that's pretty much everything from the inventory. I'll just get this uh, potty out. Oh, and this. Wabbit tablet. She can have a Wabbit tablet. Oh, and sorry, here's Arwen's old toddler bed. We'll use that one. Um, let's change the colours on it. Oh, yeah, the pink looks pretty. Let's use that. There's already a Blarfy in Arwen's room, so we don't need that again. We'll put some blocks down. We've already got a doll's house. Whilst we are here, Arwen needs a violin for her aspiration, so let's put that in this corner. But let's put in an extra window. Oh, and then let's place a few of these really cute animal prints. Okay. Actually, the owl looks kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, the meerkat doesn't though. I'm going to make it slightly smaller. These are from the Charlie Pancake small kit as well. So the wallpaper's from the same kit as these, as these paintings are. Oh, and then yeah, cute bunny. That's a little bit better. It's a bit busier, a bit lived in than just a bassinet in a room. Okay, everybody seems to be up and moving. Belladonna acquired the imagination skill, perfect. Uh, Arwen is awake. If Arwen comes and makes Belladonna laugh, I think that's part of her scouting. Badges, I'm pretty sure. Tell goofy story, make funny faces, hug lovingly. And Kurt is on it down here, perfect. Okay, Nori, why don't you wake up and come and teach logic skill to Belladonna because then she will have tantrums as often. I think she sleeps through the night more, the higher her logic skill, that kind of a thing. Oh, and because this is kind of a shelf, can we put your bronzing? Yeah, we're gonna put Arwen's bronzing trophy on there, but I think we'll just have to do it in 
build mode. There we go. Uh oh, why is Belladonna? Don't want to. Nope, 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 nobody can make me do it. Okay. Can you discipline that? Yes, let's discipline it. We're gonna be firm and just tell her not to be defiant. Arwen has completed her homework. Great. What, now she's gonna go play the violin because she needs to play for five hours to complete her aspiration. Don't think we hired a maid last episode. I think I talked about it. I don't think we did it. No, we didn't. There we go, scheduled maid. Look how dirty that sink is. We need the maid. <laughs> Arwen reached creativity level 10. Arwen is a master of creativity. She can now gain piano and violin skills. That's so good. Because I think the thing that annoys me about children is you, one of the things, you have to get to level 10 and then they can earn skin skills that they'll carry over to being a teen and an adult. Like it takes ages. What's going on with Kurt? Um, he's just got a shared sadness. Seeing that someone Kurt cherishes his suffering is making him sad. Um, and he doesn't understand the purpose of life. None of us do, my friend. None of us do. Does this just need repairing or replacing? Repairing. So Nori, you can come and do that. And I want you to fabricate an end table for Belladonna's room. Oh, look, now Arwen's inspired. Now I don't need her to be. Oh, and she has scouts in an hour. Yeah, you can like violin, Arwen. On New Year's Eve, everybody has to make a resolution. So let's make Arwen's be become a better student. She's very nearly at an A grade. Nori's resolution could be get a promotion. Yeah. Same with Kurt, to be fair. He's due a promotion, isn't he? Oh, yay, look! All the quill fruits are coming back. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, and whilst I remember, there was a dragon fruit in my inventory. Yeah, all right. And let me just sell these lilies and these orchids. Okay, everything is in our inventory. Again, let's put that one there. Plant that there. What's here? Lilies. So plant two more lilies. And this is plant, plant. I'm going to use what we have to fertilize everything. The higher quality plant you use to fertilize, the better quality the plant becomes, the more it sells for. So we're going to use roses, I think, because we've got very good quality roses. A lesson in planning. As custom has it, every scout takes turns planning the weekly scouting activity. And this week, it's finally Aaron's turn. Does she have the planning prowess to impress the troop? Oh, I'm <laughs> Hold on. Does she have the planning prowess to impress the troop? Take the time to plan. Owen's troop loved the creative outing she planned. This is one for the troop's record books. Oh yeah. I want to make aubergine something or other. I can't remember what it's called, but it involves an aubergine and we have aubergine. There we go. Aubergine parmesan. Let's make a party size of that because we have all the ingredients. Um, what's wrong with Belladonna? Tired of blocks. So sick of blocks. If I don't do something else soon, I may cry. Don't you make a mess. She's gone, isn't she? Kurt could tell she was sad, so he's come to see her. Walk straight past her and she's just allowed to make a mess. Then why don't you discipline her for that? Express disappointment for making a mess. Finchwick Fair has started. Come with amazing prizes. Uh, it's the llama competition. I don't have a llama and then you need llama wool. I need to keep checking these Finchwick Fairs because we now have oversized crops, a cow with milk and a chicken that makes eggs so we could go compete in some of these. Oh gross, I just realised that there's like cockroaches and flies in our house. Clear flies, try to clear the roaches. I knew they were in the outside bin, I didn't realise they were inside. Uh, Belladonna has reached imagination skill level two. She can now look at the pictures in toddler books and play with others at the dollhouse. Arwen's back from the scout meeting. Why don't you take the trash out because that's something you want to do for scouts and then you can grab a survey. Let's have Nori make some candles because she hasn't done that in a while. Oh, Belladonna is playing in the toilet. Not great. Can you stop doing that and come and eat your food? Also wash your hands before you eat your food. And then Kurt's going to have to discipline her again. Kurt has reached level four of the parenting skill. He can now give time out. He will have more information on how his advice will impact his child's development. So now you come and eat that then. And then Kurt will go downstairs and grab himself some food. I'm pretty sure Kurt still has some gardening stuff to do as well. Oops, something was sparkling, evolve. All right, Belladonna is tired. Before she goes to bed though, why don't we potty train her? Potty train Belladonna and then read Belladonna to sleep. Arwen acquired the violin skill. Arwen's new violin skill will allow her to practice music on the instrument as the skill level increases, more related interactions will unlock. Um, Kurt researched the orchid plant. 
didn't realise you were doing that. Okay. And Belladonna acquired the potty skill. Toilet training makes dirty diapers a thing of the past. Potty skill teaches toddlers to use the potty chair. Improve it by having an adult train the toddler. Belladonna has reached level two of the movement skill. And Arwen has reached violin level two. But why did Nori not put Belladonna to sleep? She's just going to pass out there now. Great. Cool. Cool, good stuff. Or watching the countdown to midnight, I guess. Is Kurt doing the same? No, he's off to see his daughter, but okay. <laughs> Is Nori going to give him a New Year's kiss? Oh yeah, Happy New Year. Belladonna is just a helpless toddler. Caregivers and other sims in the household will have to help to care for her. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, she's also hungry, so she's not going to sleep for long. Um, Kurt, why don't you... Oh, aspiration completed. Owen has just achieved her childhood dream of becoming an artistic prodigy. Trey earned creatively gifted and builds creative skills faster. So she's completed that level of the aspiration, which means she's completed the whole aspiration. Let's go for motor next. I don't think we'll have time to complete another aspiration. Um, I think maybe she's got eight days left. We could do it. Um, but this means we get to remove the last lot trait and we have completed the lot trait challenge. So in we go, move me over here. If you remember last time we did remove simple living, but I decided not to, I like playing with it. So this time there's no need to do the random number generator. We just get rid of reduce and recycle. This lot generates compostable and recyclable trash and outdoor cans are no longer bottomless. Actively managing the trash output is a must. None anymore. And I think that means there'll be no more flies and cockroaches and things as well. So yay, I'm so excited for that. Now that we got rid of all the lot challenges, I think we can pick some positive challenges traits for our house i think great soil is a must because gardening just seems to go really well here i think child's play kids just seem to learn faster here obviously we've got two children and then what's this one eco lot this lot moves toward eco friendliness faster than others i think that really helps us home studio the artsy vibe makes this a great place to be creative painting writing and woodworking usually comes out better i don't think that counts for fabrication homey the homey vibe helps sims quickly master the domestic arts of cooking mixology handiness and gardening so gardening could help okay we're gonna go with homey as well so we have homey child's play and garden and great soil it'll be interesting to see if things are suddenly significantly better easier i mean we'll we'll see won't we arwen is very uncomfortable so why don't you go to the toilet and then go to bed nori's the only one still awake and what's she doing outside hmm the concept you submitted to innovative solutions court wasn't the best work and they weren't too impressed better quality concepts have a greater chance of success in this competitive space whatever new year's eve was awful new year's wasn't really up to arwen's expectations i didn't think it was that bad nori found it successful kurt was like meh i was okay oh i didn't realize arwen had such a bad time oh it's spring spring hair sprung kurt's the first up today you need a shower kurt you smell a boy shower and toilet oh and look at how much stuff there is for kurt to harvest the glow orbs are back yeah all right is there any dragon fruits they're coming along they're just not quite there are they lots to evolve as well which is good oh nori is next up so let's sort out her needs as well i recently played a scenario where i tried to use a selling table but i was living in a flat so that just wasn't gonna work so i thought i could get it for nori's candles and things that she fabricates and we could sell on there because with a selling table you can mark things up 300 percent. so that would be really really good for this old rags to riches mm -mm. ah here we go Go. come and get it street store let's which one should we have so that's the standard one we're not selling tomatoes we're not selling fish not that it's not produce is it let's just stick with the blue one i put all of these candles in here anything else maybe we could sell the voodoo doll because i know tina tinker gave us that but we don't really want oh it's worth 500 simoleons chuff me yeah we don't really want we don't really want to do voodoo we're just not like that oh belladonna's awake and angry so actually give food to belladonna belladonna's very hungry be sure to feed her before she gets taken away okay what's wrong with arwen her social's pretty bad and she had a terrible new year's eve sorry about that arwen i didn't really Realize. get leftovers you can have a bubble bath for fun and then your new aspiration wants you to play on a jungle gym while playful because you already had level two motor skill great 
I don't think there is a jungle gym in this universe, so we'd have to go to another universe and find a park. <laughs> what, are you, what are you feeding Belladonna? Give her some food then. Give her some food. And there we go, ham sandwich. Okay, Kurt, can you just stay with Belladonna for a bit, please? Do some flashcards with her, maybe teach her how to talk. Um, because Nori is going to try this selling table. So I put stuff in the inventory, stock table. Woohoo, look at all our candles. Whoa, message from beyond the grave. Tina Tinker, hot tip. There's some great performers playing at the flea market this week. Are you up for a visit? I mean, I miss you, Tina. I love you. I would love to hang out with your ghost, but we're just kind of starting our, our own little selling gig here okay so i've stocked the table maybe she could tell i was selling her voodoo doll and she was like don't you dare uh tend table tend table and then markup prices 300 percent start yard sale you just sit and wait for some for some customers all right there you go shout them in is there anyone around oh is this lady running to buy our candles oh she is give sales pitch look at my beautiful candles what do you think oh she liked them no he's not very well oh somebody else demario akiyama okay demario give sales pitch what would you like to buy nice candles special candles oh i just sold something for 100 simoleons woohoo oh belladonna reach thinking level two okay great what's Aaron doing coming out to say hi i was thinking about one of my favorite toys and i can't find it i'm starting to miss it and feel sad keep looking for it which affects responsibility or play with a different toy affects conflict resolution keep looking for it um nori has advised Arwen affecting her character values, responsibility increases, and Arwen's responsibility is in the range to earn the responsible trait. Oh, give sales pitch to this gentleman. Hello, would you like a candle? Oh, and why is the baby sad? Oh, he needs, needs a toilet. Okay, stop with the teaching to talk and come potty train Belladonna. Oh, everyone's so sad. Does Arwen have any friends her own age? I don't think she knows any children, does she? Can she chat in a kid's chat room? There we go, hopefully that'll help. This yard sale is not doing great, is it? Give sales pitch, excuse me. Hello, hey. Colette. Oh, Colette Tinker, I was friends with your mum. Oh, the baby peed herself, so no potty training. Um, why don't you give her a bath? Nori reached charisma level three, that's good. Um, yeah, give Belladonna a bath. Oh, I just sold something, but I, I missed how much I sold it for. <laughs> Was it 100 simoleons? I'll, I'll see in the recording, won't I? Oh, hello, sir. Amir Langrab, give sales pitch. Come on, let's get one last sale. Oh, 200 simoleons. All right, so I think I probably made three to 500 simoleons in that yard sale. Was not worth it, took up most of my day. I am not as impressed with the selling table as everybody else is. Um, you go toilet and get something to eat and we'll also order you some medicine because you're not very well. Uh-oh, Arwen is missing. Scouts, you'll lose your responsibility if you miss scouts. Torn uniform, a crisply pressed, Meticulously cleaned uniform is the badge of a true scout. So naturally, Arwen is feeling a little distressed after accidentally ripping her uniform on the way to this week's scout meet. It was just some innocent rough housing. How will she avoid utter mortification? Repair it with dental floss, cross arms to hide the damage. Dental floss. Seems Arwen is a natural born tailor. Nobody even noticed her damaged uniform. Great. Oh, Arwen's responsibility fell out. I know because she was late to the chuffing meeting. Can she do any extra credit homework? Yes, do your extra credit work. Try and do another yard sale, Nori. Didn't work the greatest earlier, but you never know. When are Nori and Kurt at work next? I think they should get promoted tomorrow and tomorrow. Oh no, because Kurt doesn't have his logic skill. We need Kurt to go get his logic skill. Oh, and and clean the cow because the cow will not be happy with us if we don't clean it. Yeah, brown hen is thinking of leaving. Don't go, brown hen, don't go. Kurt has reached gardening level nine. Kurt continues to improve his gardening mastery and can now tend garden efficiently doing all the watering, weeding and bug spraying at once. That is epic. And while removing the weeds, Kurt found a frog hiding in his garden. Let's see, is that another cheapy frog? Yeah, 30 simoleons, let's get rid of that. And let's breed a frog, why not? 
Ah, another 30 simoleon one. Extra credit complete, and Arwen's back to earn the responsibility trait. Great. Ooh, we got lots of stuff in our inventory. Oh, start yard sale. Come on, everybody. Come buy some candles from me, please. Are the prices still marked up? Mark up 300%. Yeah, great. Hello, nice to see you again. Can I give you a sales pitch? Oh, this raging werewolf is coming to my yard sale. Give sales pitch. Give sales pitch. Oh, 100 simoleons. All right. Give sales pitch. Oh, another 100 simoleons. So that's 200. Oh, and then everybody left. I don't even know if sales pitch works. I'm just doing it. It doesn't look like it, does it? No one's... Oh, 300 simoleons. No one's particularly happy with us. Oh, Yumma looks hot. What's his name? Yumma, Yumma. Why does no one want the voodoo doll? Come on, you can have it for three times its normal price. Why not? And why does everyone then go into my house? You're not invited into my house. Nori, come in and serve some fish and chips. Kurt, you need to come and do all the animal care. Honestly, why are you all in my house and in my garden? None of you even bought anything. Or <laughs> two of you, three of you bought something. How's Kurt getting on? Throw that away. So is the cow happy now? Clean, level full, currently occupied. Clean, cool, cool, cool. Both of these are broken. So Nori can go repair those afterwards. And then, Kurt, you need to go observe the sky or moon gaze because you need that logic skill for work tomorrow. But let's have a look at his inventory. What have we got going on? Oh, we have 50 roses, sell. 2,646, great. 16 lilies are 640. 22 orchids, 6,650, all right. Uh, 45 snapdragons are 1,035. 15 quill fruits, 1,365. 20 glow orbs, 700. I'm just going to sell every. Oh, actually, put some. Let's put the tomatoes and the onions in there and the eggs. Oh, chuffs, but some eggs as well. 10 eggs in there as well. Let's just sell the carrots, 16 simoleons. Sell the mushrooms, 16 simoleons. Smell. Smell that, sell the green peas, sell the potatoes, sell the strawberries, and then chocoberries can go in the fridge and so can the full meat. Um, I don't think we need any more basil in the fridge. Maybe this could go in the kitchen, why not? He must have got that from a promotion at work. What's it called? The drifter, yeah, he did. Oh, Nori's just putting Belladonna to bed. Oh, and Kurt reached logic level four, great. Uh-oh, Kurt just noticed a meteor. He's heading right, for, heading right for him. He should get inside. He's inside now, right? Whew, I've never actually seen a meteor land when you get that notification, but it's not worth risking. I'm gonna have Kurt and Nori woohoo because uh, Nori needs the attention. She needs the loving. Oh, Oh, no, why did that not happen? Because <laughs> maybe because he's terrified. Okay, well, when they wake up, they can woo woo. We'll have Arwen make some friends at school today because she doesn't really know anybody. Everybody, wake up. Oh no, wait, wait, where's where's everyone going? Come here. School starts for Arwen in about an hour. Oh, but don't, I hope she doesn't pee herself. Kiss your lovely wife and then woo woo with her. Go, go, go. Haven't done it for some reason, but Nori's gonna pee herself, so maybe just go to the toilet. Kurt, work from home, please. Don't want you going off to work again. And then Arwin, make friends at school. Oh, look at that. There's dragon fruits. Yes. Oh, and I can evolve that plant as well. So if I just put tend garden now then, that should do everything for me. Resolution complete. Nori completed her resolution of getting a promotion. Yay, promoted to machine modifier. Nori has been promoted to machine modifier. She will now make an additional 35 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 133 simoleons per hour. She's also received the following bonus, 725 simoleons. Fabricate a recipes for gut. What's happening? Oh, okay, nothing. It scares me when the game moves you to a sim. We can now make food on the fabricator, which is random. So I did say that when Nori got her next promotion, we would quit to be a freelancer because that's part of her aspiration. So hopefully, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully we can go back in at that level later on um, because I do want to complete the career. Find a job, we're gonna do it. Okay, free. 
freelance, freelance, freelancer. Available trades, crafter, digital artist, paranormal investigator, programmer, writer. Be your own boss, set your own work schedule. Sounds good, right? If you're both self-disciplined and determined, a career as a freelancer may be the right path for you. Multiple trades available to work within. Agencies are standing by to connect you with eager clients today. Should Nori switch activities to freelancer, she will quit her current position of machine modifier upon, ex- upon accepting to do a new activity. Okay, let's do it. Oh, oops. Oh no, I just missed something. Nori has quit her job at Lean Green Design Co-op. She decided it was time for a new direction career-wise. Entered the freelancer career. We're very happy to have you in our talent pool. After selecting an agency, you'll be able to use our services to find jobs posted by clients that are relevant to your interests and expertise. Some words of advice. Always be polite to clients. Finish all your tasks on time. Oh, and make sure you have the tools of the trade. We have high hopes for you and wish you the best of luck. Okay, select a trade. So computer experts, electrified artists, no, um, we're not going to be a paranormal investigator. Fighting words, simply crafted. So that's using the fabricator, the juice fizzer or the candle maker. Let's go with that one. Um, Shadow Fact has been unhappy for a while. Oh, we know. Okay, I have been playing for about an hour and a half now. So I'm going to end this episode here. We have finally completed the all lots traits challenge. There are no more lot traits on this lot. We've added some positive traits. Uh, We've switched Nori's career. And I think our gardening is getting going now. We've got just under 90,000 simoleons. And I reckon when Kurt harvests all of this and we sell that, it will tip us over 100,000. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.